Maybe the crowd should be coaching. In two Big East tournament games, Freeman's got 43 points to snub City. Freeman and UConn taking on St. John's tonight on ESPN in the championship game. First half off the Tyrone Grant miss. Watch the pass and Khalid Al Amin. There's Freeman on the alley -oop. Huskies at a 13-0 run to start the game. End of the half. Al Amin, three at the buzzer, got it. Huskies up 40-29 at the break. Elamine at 13 in the first half. Second half, all UConn. Richard Hamilton. Rip had 23. Huskies by 17. Then Hamilton. Backdoor pass to Rochamel Jones for the layup. Huskies would take the Big East title and in particularly easy fashion, 82-63. And there's your MVP. Kevin Freeman gets the honors. So maybe a trend developing. Three of the last four winners of the Big East Tournament MVP. You know that. Great ending to an A-10 championship game here on ESPN. Rhode Island and Temple. Pepe Sanchez and Matt Karstner working it back. Final half minute, tied at 59. Sanchez finally takes it, misses. Lamar Odom the rebound. Give me a timeout, baby. Sanchez upset with himself. Rhode Island drawing up their last play. Here Here's go. our Dave Sims. Odom. With four, Odom, 30 feet away, jumper in the air, he's got it! Lamar Odom has won it for Rhode Island! Odom leads all scorers of 21 and 10, and he's named the tournament MVP. In tears afterwards, he said, I can't even explain. Jason Capel, bad back coming in, but it didn't affect him early. He was three for three from long range in the first half. One of them right here, he had 11 at the half. North Carolina was up six at the half. Second half, North Carolina up 11. Adamola Okolaja, he can do some things from the outside. Finished with 19. North Carolina would go up by as much as 23. Cable had to leave the game. The back aggravated. Maryland would make a charge. Off the steal. Here come the Terps. Danny Miller finding Steve Francis. Maryland all the way back to cut it to four. North Carolina up four. 26 seconds to go. Brian Burdicker here on the transition off the long inbounds. And Francis is 31, not enough, as North Carolina wins it 86-79. Tar Heels hitting 9 of 16 from three-point land. Maryland has now lost in the ACC semis the last eight times they've gotten that far. Max Owens, a career-high 23. Tar Heels advanced to the title game for the 11th time in 13 years. NC State and Duke without Trajan Langdon. Injured foot, didn't play. Corey McGetty got the start in place of the injured Langdon. And here he comes up with a loose ball. He had 17 points in the first half. Duke up by eight after 20 minutes. Second half, Duke up 12. Elton Brand picks it up. They head to Chris Carowell. Carowell, his only field goal of the game, finished with five points. Duke's up 59-45. Then it's McGetty for the lay-in. Brand had the assist. He had 19 points and 12 rebounds. McGetty with 24 points, a clear high for the freshman. And Duke wins it 83-68. Langdon definitely out for tomorrow's this regular season champ surprising Auburn. And Cliff Ellis, his Tigers were down early and voice invites SEC player of the year Chris Porter to join him on the bench. Eventually all five starters would sit. Hishimu Evans draws the double team, still gets the fall. Evans finished with 11. Moments later, here come Auburn starters, all of them in mass. Well, they couldn't do much better. The freshman, Desmond Allison, drains a three. Cats on top, 26-11. Ellis couldn't bear to watch. Tigers down 11 at the break. Second half, Auburn mounting a comeback. Wayne Turner, air ball. Touchdown pass to Porter at the other end for the jam. Tigers trail by six. Porter had 12 on the day. But too little, too late for Auburn. Scott Padgett spotting up from a big three-way out. He had 13. Kentucky defeats Auburn, 69-57. They advance on to the SEC championship game. Chris Porter to 4 of 11 shooting and said, if you don't put a body on him, you wind up watching him on SportsCenter. Kentucky is 12 and 0 at the Georgia Tome. Mississippi State and Arkansas, here we go. Second half, tied at 67. Dietrich White, the drive, hooping the foul. White had 27, he's fired up. Bulldogs were up three. 11 seconds left, Razorbacks down two, Reed drives, misses tough shot. Derek Hood for the putback, tied at 73. Play continues, no timeout for Mississippi State. White pulls up for a three, misses. So we go to overtime in the OT. Bulldogs up two. They've got the ball. White blocked by Hood. Chris Walker gets it ahead to Reed. Reed 
Misses the layup, but Hood bails him out again with the jam. Hood at 17 and 17. Arkansas advances to the SEC Finals. They win by a score. Texas, second half, four minutes left. Oklahoma State up one. Adrian Peterson lays it up and in. Peterson led the Cowboys with 18. They were up three. 15 seconds left. Oklahoma State up one. Ivan Wagner's cross-court pass out of bounds. Texas turnover. Here we go. Nine seconds left. After Peterson at the first free throw, he misses the second. Texas inbounds. Wagner, the layup. Can't get it. Unable to control the rebound as well. And that is it. Oklahoma State upsets Texas 59 to 57 in this game. Kansas State and Kansas. And there's Roy Williams trying to fire up his team. Second half, Kansas up one. Ryan Robertson misses the shot. Ball bounces around. Finally ends up Cortez Groves. And Groves, he'll put on the drive. Puts his own shot up the miss, but Tony Kidd is big time there for the follow. Kansas State up one. Kansas down one. Jeff Boshi from three. Bought it. Jayhawks up two. They're up four now. Marion London. Watch the nice move around the defender, and then the feed to Eric Chenoweth for the jam. Chenoweth at 20, and Kansas wins 69-58. They will... Final. Second half, 32 seconds left. Ohio State on the offensive board. Michael Red is there. Buckeyes down three. Ensuing inbounds. A Big Ten freshman of the year, Corey Bradford, trapped. Red makes a steal, but Sergio McClain with a huge rejection. Three seconds to go. Ohio State down three inbounding. Scooney Penn fouled immediately. He goes to the line. He's got two free throws. They're down three. He's got two free throws. His first free throw is in there so Buckeyes are down two Lon Kruger says timeout please Penn second free throw misses on purpose Red grabs a rebound shoots looking for the miracle almost got it watch it again great effort by Red here to pull it down and get the attempt off it would have forced overtime as it is it bounces away and Illinois does it again winning by 279-77 so after winning only three games in the Big Ten's regular season, Illinois has now won three straight in the conference tourney. They're now one win away from the NCAA tournament. 17 points for Bradford, including six straight free throws in the final 119. Wisconsin-Michigan State, Charlie Bell, number 14. Bell. Nice move on the inside. Michigan State up 36-24. Mateen Cleaves here, the great inside pass to A.J. Granger. Michigan State up by 16. Cleaves had 11 assists in the game. Spartans at one point held Wisconsin scores for a 10-minute, 13-second stretch. Later in the second, Antonio Smith puts the rebound home with the jam, and Michigan State cruises 56-41. to So the Spartans have now won 17 straight, and they for playing for a possible number one seed in the NCAA tournament. They had some problems here. Oregon State up seven, second half, hitting the boards. Josh Steinthal missed the first shot, but he'll get another chance here, and this time he's going to shoot it and score it. Oregon State up 44-34. Stanford struggled throughout from the floor. They had only 20 points in the second half. Peter Sauer blows a wide-open lay-in. Oregon State up nine later in the second. Steinthal will drain the three from the corner. He finished with 19, and Oregon State with the upset, 59-45. Oregon State beating the Cardinal for just the third time in 12 meetings. Now, Stanford, as I mentioned, had already wrapped up the Pac-10 title. It wanted this win to make a strong final push for the top seed in the West region of the NCAA tournament. UCLA, Arizona, meanwhile, playing for second place in the conference. Baron Davis coming in with a bad toe. This isn't going to help a bad toe. Michael Wright on that bad toe. Davis had to come out. X-rays indicate a sprain, not a break to that toe. But Davis would not return. How about Jason Terry? He had his way with Davis out of the lineup. Arizona up by a dozen. Then the Cats are running. Terry, Pac-10 player of the year, finished with 26 points. And Arizona wins it 87 to 70. They clinch second place in the conference. Elsewhere in the Pac-10, Oregon beats Cal. The goal UNC Charlotte thinking about Hayward and beating Louisville at the same time. First half, Galen Young of the 49ers drives and jams at home. 49ers up three early. Last second of the first half. Diego Guevara misses, but Kedrick Smith is there for the tip at the buzzer. Denny Crum and Louisville were down 10 at the break. Second half, UNC Charlotte in control. They're up 15. Guevara to Kelvin Price for the big jam. And UNC Charlotte, the players again, not forgetting about Hayward as they celebrate their Conference USA Tournament Championship.
a pulled groin. Utah led by one at the break. Second half, Utes went inside. Hanno Medela finding the room and scores. And the Utes were up by four. Still looking inside Alex Jensen to Nate Altoff for two. Utah by seven. Next possession. Nice drive by Andre Miller. 46-37 Utah. More inside. Miller. Try the alley -oop for all top. He can get up. Utes win their 22nd consecutive game. They win 60 to 45. Alex Jensen led the way with 18. And toss out the record books when the Dragons and Blue Hens get together. Drexel and Delaware in the America East. First half, Tyrone Perry with the sweet fake and the lay in. Delaware up by five. Second half, John Gordon takes over. Knocks down the three. Delaware by eight. Then Gordon, top of the arc. And then Gordon. From the other side, all John Gordon all the time. Five out of seven from downtown. Delaware wins 86-67. Gordon voted the most outstanding player in the America East tourney. And Delaware going to the big dance for the second straight time as they defend their championship. The Wilmington native Gordon leading the way with 22. The top-seeded Blue Hens have never lost to Drexel in three conference title game meetings. Somebody would dance in Baton Rouge after the SWAC championship game. Alcorn State and Southern. Davey Whitney getting his troops fired up. Alcorn State coming on strong. Wallace Harris the miss. Walter Harper the not miss. Two of his four points. Alcorn State up by 12 early. More of the Braves. Brian Adams. These were the best days of his life. Alcorn State up 54-32. Second half, 22 seconds to go. Southern down by six. Kendrick Davis the three. Greg Martin's putback won't go. Alcorn State controls the rebound. Harris with a pretty finish and that is a exclamation point. 89-83 the final. Harris had 22. All in the big sky. Weber State coach Ron Abeglin retire after this season. So coaching his last big sky conference game. Trying to go out with a bang. Harold Arsenault did the jam off the Eddie Gill alley who passed one of nine assists for Gill. Second half, it's Arsenault, the tip, and he had 27. Under a minute left in the second, Weber stayed up six off the Ross Land miss. It's Gill running the break and gets it to Arsenault for the hoop and the foul. 11 of 17 from the field. Gill and Arsenault celebrate. The Wildcats are in thanks to the seven-point win. Noel will defend what is ours. Our championship, MEAC championship. Let's go defend it, guys. Let's go. South Carolina State coach Cy Alexander, his team taking out Florida A&M. Monroe Pippins hits the fadeaway, 22 and 12 for him. Rattlers by four. Rattlers several chances to seal it, but they missed a lot from the foul line. Five of six foul shots they missed in the last two minutes. 2.6 seconds to go. Florida A&M up by two. John Kyler puts him up by three. One last chance for South Carolina State. James Jones for the tie. It's not there. And Florida A&M. Ah, be careful what you wish for. The Rattlers become the 15th team ever to reach the NCAAs with a losing record. They enter at 12 and 18. After Texas and Texas San Antonio. Close game in the second half. Clifton Ellis the alley. Dante Mathis brought his oop. Southwest Texas down four. The Bobcats get within one, but Steve Meyer all day. UTSA up by four. Then more from the Roadrunners. Meyer feeding Lloyd Williams down low, and the bank is open. Roadrunners up by six. Southwest Texas hiding their dejection in a towel. And they'll be dancing in San Antonio. The Roadrunners win this one by a final of 71 to 63. Meyer at 26. Brown 21 points and 11 boards. Trophy. Second half, eight minutes to go. Roberto Bergerson from the corner. Boise State cutting a 13-point second half deficit to three. New Mexico State answering. Brad Bester. Moments later, Brad Bester. Next trip up the floor. I said Brad Bester. Third straight three in crunch time. He had 12. New Mexico State and Lou Henson winning it. 79 to 69. Henson in his second stint at New Mexico State. Going back to the big dance.